styling denim jeans this winter 2022. Happy New Year everyone! I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas and I don't know about you but I'm personally really looking forward to putting the struggles of the last two years behind us and really getting stuck into 2022 in style. So with that in mind I've got a ton of outfit ideas for you all today from loose and baggy to straight skinny and white and even the odd flare in there too. All the outfits are pretty relaxed so very much everyday kind of style but there's an element of timeless elegance about them so hopefully the sort of thing you could reach for at least on a weekly basis. So let's get straight to it with this lovely pair of loose fitting jeans that I'm wearing. One fashion trend that's going nowhere for 2022 would be loose fit or baggy denim jeans. We saw it all over the catwalks for spring summer and it's a look that I would say has grown on me over time. At first, like me, you might find it quite hard to peel yourself away from your skinnies but after a bit of a play in the mirror with the styling, it's easy to see the appeal. Loose fit, baggy denim jeans are just insanely comfy. Though I very much doubt comfort was high up on the designer's mind when they came up with this new look, it's a very happy accident of the trend. Now I've got a couple of different pairs in my wardrobe that I've really enjoyed styling a lot recently. This lighter pair have a little bit of distress detailing to them, which just adds to the whole relaxed vibe. You can either run with that and go all out everyday chic, or contrast that worn in look and add a touch of polish. So three quick ways I would style these loose fit jeans. One with my favorite new in blazer, which adds a bit of a Parisian vibe to the look. Casual but chic with a long grey wool coat and super relaxed in trainers yet ticking the leather jacket fashion trend for this season. I like all three to be honest so do let me know your favourites in the comments section below. The second pair I have are a darker wash that I bought from weekday quite a few months ago and like before these can work both ways, either quite dressed up or dressed down with trainers and a simple crew neck. Whichever style you prefer and however you choose to style them it really is up to you. I would just highly advise you having some version of the trend in your wardrobe this season. I think you'll find them really handy to have. Now there are so many different variations of this fashion trend on the high street at the moment, let alone from the designers as well. So I've added in the description box a little selection that just sort of ticks all different budgets. So you've got under £50, under £100, and then some of the blow the budget ones from the designer as well. So don't forget to check that out at the end of this video because hopefully there's a pair there for everybody. Now although loose fitting jeans are particularly on trend for this season, I am personally very fond of the Parisian way of thinking that any style of denim jeans goes so long as it makes you feel good. So with that in mind, let's turn to straight leg jeans and two of my favourite pairs. I bought these grey straight leg jeans a while ago now from And Other Stories, but they're quite a classic bestseller for them, so they tend to have stock come in and out throughout the year. They've been made from organic cotton and going true to size, I would say the fit is perfect. Shopping my wardrobe, I've styled them with a few favourites I've had for quite a while now, particularly that blazer actually, which has proved to be one of the most worn pieces in my entire wardrobe. Blazers, coincidentally, are going to be one of the other big fashion trends of 2022, and they can be worn with just about everything. So if you've got your eye on any new ones that are in store at the moment, I would say now would be a great time to invest. I've linked a few favourites that I found recently in the description box below. My other favourite straight leg jeans would be this pair that I got from Cos. Like the pair from And Other Stories, these have been made from organic cotton and as you can see I got them in the light blue wash. I've worn these in so many different ways over the past year with knitwear, with blouses, a blazer over the top, short sleeve bodysuits in summer and in today's winter look with a few caramel tones into the mix. I like the fact that although they are high-waisted, they're not ridiculously so. I do think the point at which they stop on my waist feels really flattering on my shape and they've got that scoop over the hips just right. There's just no bagging of the denim at that point. You know when you get that funny little bulk there? They don't seem to do that, they're scooping in really nicely. Now although I do have a selection of different jeans that I reach for in any given week, I would say this light blue wash is probably my favourite. The shade just works really nicely with lots of those lovely neutrals that I do have in my wardrobe already. And then if I do decide to add a pop of colour into my outfits, it will work with that too. Next up, I wanted to take a look at white denim jeans. Not the most practical for winter, I know, but I love them, so I've added them in regardless. 
Now I got mine a long time ago from Massimo Duty and they've since sold out but I've added a few of my current favourites in the description box below for you to take a look at. When it comes to styling denim jeans in winter, my rail just doesn't feel complete if I haven't got at least one white or beige pair in there. Firstly, if I'm wanting to feel a little more elevated and polished, I'll often go with a tonal look. But when I say tonal, it's really more of a 50 shades of beige kind of look. I keep adding in different textures with slightly different tones until I feel I've got the balance right. And in all honesty, it is quite hard to overdo this look. You could quite literally add a jumper, a blazer, a scarf, an overcoat, and still in the end create a really chic and stylish look. It's very easy to emulate, very rarely fails, and it has that wonderful ability of making me feel far more stylish than I might feel. The second way I love styling my white jeans in winter would be with stripes. Ever a lover of a Breton or two, I know, but I'm not about to let a small matter of snow outside put me off one of my favourite looks. In winter, I just opt for my slightly thicker options, or do a bit of layering with a top and then a cardigan, possibly a scarf as well over the top. I am practical sometimes, and if it's really cold, I will switch out my flats for boots instead as well. A nice finishing touch with a simple look like this would be with a classic camel coat. Aside from adding in another texture, the richness of that caramel sits beautifully against the navy stripes and crispness of the white jeans. And it's one that's particularly easy to bring up to date each season with just mixing in a few different accessories. My third way to style white jeans in winter would be something like this. Now obviously this would be for a slightly warmer winter day but it's been particularly mild here recently, so I'm taking a bit of artistic license with this one. Blue and white together is one of my absolute favorite combinations, whatever season. It always feels elegant, classic, crisp, and elevated. So keeping this look really nice and relaxed, I decided to leave that shirt out, and I've opted for my similar tone jumper to layer over my shoulders. I've picked out that shade on my shoes for something along a similar train of thought with my tote bag. And though it does feel a bit of a shame to add a coat into this look, as I love it just the way it is, if I needed one, I would probably add my camel trench to keep with that classic theme that I've got going on. There is sometimes a bit of a snobbery about these classic, quite neutral toned looks, and some people saying, oh, they're a bit boring. But I am firmly in the camp of thinking fashion snobbery is boring. That is not what fashion is about for me in the slightest. I really, really think true style is about how an item makes you feel, and then that coming across to other people. So what one person might think is boring, you might feel like a million dollars, and if that's the case, absolutely wear it. Feeling good in what you're wearing, feeling confident, your head is held high, that for me is true style. Next up in this how to style denim jeans edition, I've got a couple of pairs of skinnies. So I've selected two favorites. I've got the dark indigo with a high waist that I got from Everlane, which I just love that fit. And then I've got my skinny jeans that I got from Cezanne, which are made from 97% organic cotton and just a tiny but welcome bit of stretch. So let's start with the dark indigo jeans. As a tone, they are probably the most on trend for 2022. And although as a jean style, they're not exactly on trend, I do love the fit. I find them really flattering and most importantly I feel nice in them. So for all of those reasons they shouldn't be overlooked in your wardrobe. I've brought the look up to date with the other pieces I've added into the mix which is a really easy way to make them work for a new season. Just think about the shapes you add on your top half and you can give those skinny jeans a bit of a 2022 overhaul. So here as you can see I've gone pretty oversized on my top half which makes a nice balance with the skinny on the bottom. Using my blue coat to keep it tonal but fresh, wool to contrast with that cotton, and a feeling of oversized slouch with my jumper to give a nod to that trend without feeling overpowered by it. And then to my other favorite pair, my organic skinny jeans that I bought from Suzanne. This is actually what I wore for New Year's Eve, so I thought you might like to see. Pairing those black skinnies with a little camisole top underneath, and my gold button blazer layered over the top. I actually kept that jacket on all night and just shimmied those sleeves up when I got warmer, but I love the length coming to the bottom of my hip. It feels the most flattering point to stop, so I felt really comfortable in it. I added my heels, which miraculously I managed to dance all night long in. It wasn't until the next day that my feet really, really hurt. 
For more of an everyday look, I tend to wear these jeans a bit like this. Keeping it super classic with a crisp white shirt and ballet flats. Now this shirt is new in my wardrobe actually from a lovely brand called Riona, who I shall link to in the description box below. Again, I love the length of that, particularly when I'm wearing something quite tight fitting like these jeans on my bottom half. And the flats are mainly for practicality, but I do love that overall look as well. I would either add a jumper over my shoulders again to keep it light, or for more warmth, add my classic grey mile coat, as that's quite a tailored one and suits the style of this look. I like both of those looks, but obviously they're for very different occasions. Now, whether you're in the love or the hate camp when it comes to flares, we're going to be seeing an awful lot of them come spring summer 22 so i figured we may as well get used to them early i was kindly gifted this pair of jeans from suzanne just before christmas when we popped into the store in paris and i absolutely love them they're high-waisted but really comfortable and with this button detail and pockets across the front they do come up long but i'm able to just about get away with the length when i wear them with these ankle boots but I would say if you're smaller than my five foot seven and an important half, you might need to take them up a little bit. And then this is another favorite way I've been styling them this winter. So this look is doing a bit of everything for me. I feel really comfortable in this kind of outfit. I'm warm, I'm cozy, I feel chic and put together. And I'm giving a little nod to some of those fashion trends coming up. So just my cup of tea, I think. So which is your favourite? Are you a fan of the loose and baggy looks I created or are straight jeans more in your comfort zone? Maybe white jeans fill you with dread or it's skinny jeans all the way. Do let me know in the comment section your favourite outfit that I've shared with you today. Thank you so much for having me. It's really lovely to be back and don't forget to find me on all my other social channels for lots more outfit inspiration like this. See you next week. Take care.